A new partnership between the city and Loyola Law School helps get former prisoners back on their feet. Councilmember Mitchell Farrell brings City Hall to his constituents and a family turns their tragic loss into something positive for their community. All these stories in City Beat. Mayor Eric Garcetti partnered with Loyola Law School to offer free legal services for formerly incarcerated individuals. The new clinic helps clients move on with their lives after incarceration. Garcetti said that people should be met with forgiving hearts, open doors and real opportunities when trying to rebuild their lives, adding that it's not only the right thing to do, but it's critical to helping keep our communities safe. First launched last year, the clinic is a partnership between the Mayor's Office of Reentry and Loyola Law School. It's staffed by student advocates who represent clients needing legal assistance in such areas as employment, immigration, child support and professional licensing. The clinic has already handled more than 220 matters and is supported by the Mayor's Fund for Los Angeles and the California Community Foundation. For more information, visit lls.edu. Councilmember Mitch O'Farrell recently held a community walk and neighborhood cleanup in Atwater Village. O'Farrell and his staff went door to door to distribute important contact information for free city services. Volunteers from the community and the Los Angeles Conservation Corps were also on hand in a neighborhood beautification project. O'Farrell said the goal is to bring City Hall to the people instead of the people having to come to City Hall. I'm a big believer in bringing government to someone's doorstep. It's really important, especially in this day and age, when through social media and everything else, we're actually losing connectivity with one another at a very basic human level. And so it's important to me to make, take that message to everyone's door and to the constituents that I serve. The Department of Rec and Parks, along with Council President Herb Wesson Jr. and the Los Angeles Parks Foundation, gathered to celebrate Lafayette Park's new playground in honor of Lionel Murray, a two-year-old boy who died last March. In honor of their son, his parents decided to give back to the community by building a playground for kids ages two to five. With the help of friends and other groups, the Murray family was able to raise enough funds to build a playground which includes an ADA accessible swing, shade structure and resilient surfacing. The park is located in the Westlake District of Los Angeles and serves approximately 32,000 residents. It's amazing that a young kid that lived only 24 months will have an impact on this city and in this area for years to come as the thousands and thousands of two, three and four year olds play on a park dedicated for him.